How you guys doing? Everything good? Yes? Great. Today, we're going to work on math with a few things. Most of the things that we're going to be doing today, you're going to repeat it tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday because we're going to practice a lot of things. This topic for this week is the beginning of multiplication. But we need to understand that multiplication it's almost like adding, but with groups. I'll explain to you. But first, let's, let's, let's listen to what we're doing today. Today is Monday, April 20, 2020. On math, you're going to draw three ways of place value blocks of the number 452. Vas a dibujar tres formas diferentes del base 10 block. I will show you that later. Then, you're going to write in word form 452, in palabras. The last thing you're doing, you're going to solve my word problem using some collective or collection of objects, some toys or some marbles, or if you don't have toys or you don't have nothing to collect, then you can use a drawing, but as a dibujos. I am going to use these toys, these animals toys. Con estos animales, voy a enseñarles a ustedes cómo multiplicar en los problemas verbales. I'm going to show you how to multiply or the beginning of multiplication with the word problem, guys. But we need to find things to help us. If you don't have things like this, or toys, or, or you can get coins, because we're gonna have a word problem about cupcakes. And each animal is gonna represent a cupcake. Cada juguete va a representar un cupcake. So we have to use our imagination to understand the concept of multiplication. Okay, guys? That's all for today. Let's go to class. I'll see you in two seconds. One, two. The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to draw three ways of place value blocks of the number 342. Then we're going to write it in word form right here. So let's first do the basic base 10 block of 342. With the base 10 blocks, I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use red. Let's use red first. So 342, I have 300, so it's 1, 2, 300, 300, 300, then 4 tens, 4 decenas, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 ones, 2 unidades, 1, 2, That's, this is the basic, esta es la básica, cuando usted hace los base 10 block, la básica es 300, 340, uh, four, uh, four tens, tw uh, two, two ones. That's the basic. But there's other ways that we can show this number, but with different ways of base 10 block. Hay formas diferentes de hacer los bloques, pero eh, representando el mismo número. Miremos ahora. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change this hundred into tens. And you will see it's the same value. Let's use a purple one. For example, I'm going to use the same 100. So I have 100, 200, but this 100, I'm not going to draw another 100. I'm going to change it into tens. How many tens is 100? It's 10 because 10 tens equals 100. Remember that? 10, 10 is 100. So, I'm going to draw this 100, este 100, lo voy a convertir en, en decenas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the same as this one. Es el mismo. Okay? Now, I'm going to add the other four tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, and the last ones. 1, 2. Mire, lo voy a contar. So I have 300, 100, 200, 300, 340 right here. 
and 242. Now, if I go with this one, you will see it looks different, se ve diferente, pero vas a ver que es la mismo, es el mismo número. It's the same number. 100, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. Si te fijan, aquí, we have the same, 300, 310, 320, 230, 240, 341, 342. It's the same number, but it looks different, but it's the same place value. Next, I'm going to use the color green. So I'm going to go back again to the 300s. I have 100, 200, 300, but this time I'm going to change 110, I'm going to move it to the ones. Una decena lo voy a mover a las unidades. So, if I move this one to the ones, I have left over three tens. One, two, three. And now this ten will go and change to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This ten, it's ten ones. Plus this two, one, two. Vamos a contar ahora, 100, 200, 300, 210, 220, 330, 231, 232, 233, 334, 235, 236, 237, 238, 339, 340, 341, 342, 342. Todos estos son los mismos números. They are the same number, but we show them in different ways. Now, I'm going to write here the word form of 340. So I go write 300. I write the number three. Three, the word hundred. Hundred. Three hundred and forty-two. Let's write the word 40, 40, and 2, 40, 2, 342, 342, and all of these are the same number. So I show you, I show you guys three different ways of paste and block. I want you to do the same thing, but with the number 452. Van a hacer lo mismo, pero con el número 452. You're doing the same thing, but with this number. Understood? Now, let's do the second part. On the second part, we're going to read this word problem. And using toys, I'm going to solve the problem. I want you to do the same. I want you to get some toys or something that will represent and help you to solve the problem. Quiero que busques cosas o juguetes o monedas o canicas, cosas pequeñas que te ayuden a resolver este problema. Muy bien. Voy a leer y vamos a hacer cubes. We're doing cubes now. Remember cubes? Circle the number, underline the question, box keywords, um, e, evaluate, explore, and S, solve with strategies. The strategies that we're using are the toys. So, here it says, Julie made cupcakes and placed them in three rows. Each row had four cupcakes. How many cupcakes did Julie made? So, we're talking about Julie, Julia. And Julie, she made cupcake. Ella hizo cupcakes. Mmm. And then she placed them. She placed them. O sea, placed them significa que los puso in three rows. You know what row is? Tres filas. Each row, cada fila had four cupcakes. Cada fila tenía cuatro cupcakes. La pregunta es, how many cupcakes Julie made? How many? Aquí es bien interesante porque 
how many we think that is adding, but technically we're not adding. This is the beginning of multiplication. I'll show you why we're not adding. We need to create this with the aids, with the supplemental aids. Con estas ayudas, vamos a, a, a encontrar la respuesta. Remember this. Three rows and four cupcakes. Tres filas y cuatro cupcakes por cada fila. Escuchemos aquí. Voy con mis juguetes a hacer eso, el problema. Let's solve the problem. Now, let's think about it. Imagine these animals are cupcakes. Imaginemos que estos son cupcakes. Si no tienes, si no tienes juguetes, puedes dibujarlos entonces, ¿ok? If you don't have toys, you can draw them. So, on the word problem, we need to remember it says three rows, tres filas. So, I'm going to use three rows. Tengo tres filas. So, I have row number one, row number two, and row number three. Las tres filas van a comenzar aquí. And in cada fila, hay cuatro cupcakes. On each row, there's four cupcakes. So, I have one, two, three, four cupcakes. I have one, two, three, four cupcakes. And I have one, two, three, and four cupcakes. Si miramos bien aquí, tenemos tres filas. One line, una fila aquí, una fila aquí, y otro grupo de fila acá. We have three lines, three rows, but on each row there are four cupcakes. Now we need to see how many Julie made. Esto es multiplicación. So, because we have three times four. Tres filas por cuatro cupcakes. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So how many cupcakes does Julie did Julie made? She made twelve cupcakes. Ella hizo doce cupcakes. Y tres filas y cuatro en cada fila. Los cuentas todo y ese es el total. Ok, so you're going to do the same thing with your toys with another word problem. It's the same word problem, but with different numbers. Look over here. Again, Julie made cupcakes and placed them in two rows. Each row had Three cupcakes. How many cupcakes did Julie make? Repito, vas a hacer lo mismo, pero vas a hacerlo con dos filas y tres cupcakes en cada fila. Muy bien. Esto es todo por hoy. Nos vemos mañana. Bye. Adiós.